Hello and welcome to the channel. The president-elect Bola Hakmet Sinyibu, presently in Europe, reportedly on vacation, according to his media team, is ducking PDP's Atiku Abubakar and LP Peter Obi from serving him petitions to nullify his election. But for how long, though? The former Lagos state governor had only days ago denied meeting the chief justice of Nigeria, CJN, Olukaya de Ariwola, disguised in a wheelchair for a meeting in London. The many twists and turns not go hand until they resolve this matter one way or the other. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. We are unable to serve processes on Tinubu, Atiku and Obi lament. Candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar and his counterpart in the Labour Party, Peter Obi, have accused the president-elect, Bola Tinubu, of deliberately avoiding petitions they filed to nullify his election. Consequently, the duo have reapproached the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, sitting in Abuja with ex parte applications seeking to be allowed to serve the petitions on Tinubu through substituted means. It will be recalled that Tinubu, who was on March 1st declared as the winner of the presidential election, is currently out of the country. In the applications before the court, Atiku and Obi the cry that all efforts to effect personal service of their petitions on him proved abortive. Meanwhile, owing to an affidavit of urgency that accompanied the motion ex parte, the court said it would hear Atiku and Obi's applications by 11 a.m. yesterday. It will be recalled that the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC are declaring you both the ruling Hall Progressives Congress APC as winner of the presidential poll ahead of 17 other candidates that contested the election. According to INEC, Tinubu scored a total of 8,794,726 votes to defeat Atiku, who polled a total of 6,984,520 votes, and RB of the LP, who came third with a total of 6,101,533 votes. However, both Atiku and Obi rejected the outcome of the election, which they insisted was rigged in Tinubu's favor. Aside from accusing INEC of acting in breach of its own electoral regulations and guidelines, the petitioners equally argued that Tinubu was not legally qualified to participate in the presidential contest. More so, they argued that it did not garner the highest number of lawful votes cast at the election, adding that votes credited to the APC candidates amounted to wasted, voted by reason of corrupt practices that marred the election. Atiku further alleged that the electoral body deployed a third-party device he said was used to intercept and divert votes to the APC on its candidate. While both Obi and Atiku separately claimed that they won the election, they asked the court to either declare them winners or, in the alternative, order a fresh election. Both petitioners urged the court to compel INEC to withdraw the certificate of return its earlier issue to Tinubu of the APC. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, the presidency on Friday debunked the report that President Muhammad Buhari said he will not hand over to the president-elect Asiwaju Bola Tinubu. The presidency described the said report as fake, adding that all preparations are in top gear for the handover activities and that the committee in charge of the handover is made up of the representatives of the government and that of the president-elect. It said already, President Buhari's Dara community has started preparations to receive their son back after the successful administration of the country for two terms of eight years. A statement issued by the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Malam Gabashehu, stated, The Presidency wishes to denounce as outrageous and fake and condemns the fake news brigade for attributing a false quote to President Muhammad Buhari and circulating it. How can you vigorously campaign for somebody 
vote for him and then say you won't hand over to him. These beggars believe. The situation of the Sahara reporters is pretty pathetic since their ownership is politically partisan in today's politics. In fact, a loser in the presidential election. Instead of talking about issues, they repeatedly sell lies in the hope that people believe them as truth. The government is already in a transition phase. The transition committee made up of representatives of the outgoing administration and the incoming one is meeting on an almost daily basis to plan the handover to the Tinubu and Shetima administration. Thirteen committees as offshoots of the main committee, some to arrange military drills and pulling out of President Buhari are either all at work or soon to be. So far, everything is going very well and there is no indication of any itches. As for the president, the Daura community has begun their preparations to receive their son back after the successful administration of the country for two terms of eight years. He, for his part, is eager to return home to enjoy his retirement. Recall that a media report said that Nigerian President Muhammadu Buhari has told close associates that he doesn't see himself handing over to the president-elect Bola Tinubu. Tinubu, the whole Progressives Congress APC candidate, was declared the winner of the presidential election by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on March 1st. According to INEC official results, 70-year-old Tinubu won in 12 of Nigeria's 36 states and secured a significant number of votes in several states to defeat main challengers, Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party and Peter Obi of the Labour Party, who came second and third, respectively. The news further stated that the president informed some of his close associates that he doesn't see himself handing over to the former Lagos state governor. President Buhari may be ready to deal with Tinubu now. He has told his close aides and associates that he doesn't see himself handing over to him on May 29, one of the sources claimed. He did not disclose why he thought so. Could it be that he is afraid of handing over power to him? We can't say, but his close associates are already aware of this. Tinubu and Buhari's relationship was a subject of speculation before the primary election of the APC in 2022 and also before February 25, 2023 presidential election. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time. Bye.